but the SUV is one of the targets of the investigation. He's a police officer who's chasing the white Honda at a high speed on Farrington Highway in Makaha with his blue lights off. The officers in the blue and white HPD cars driving by seconds later, also with their lights off, are also under investigation. Police officers have been arrested and charged with felony crimes for a crash in Makaha that critically injured six people. Lynn Kuano has been reporting exclusively on this story for more than a year and joins us with the very latest. Lynn. Ashley, all four HPD officers were processed and have posted bail. Most have been on desk duty since the fall of 2021. Body camera videos from the officers, surveillance videos, video from a city bus that we've been showing in numerous news stories were just some of the evidence against the four officers. Joshua Nahulu, Eric Smith, Jake Bartolome, and a fourth officer who we did not mention in previous stories, Robert Gus Lewis III, are all charged with causing serious bodily injury, hindering prosecution, and conspiracy to hinder prosecution. Now, witnesses told us in the days just after the crash in September 21 that officers were chasing a white sedan with six people inside. The officers' vehicles did not have the lights and sirens activated. The driver of the sedan crashed into a wall in Makaha, but the officers allegedly drove by, leaving the scene until the 911 calls came in. On the video where you can see them stopping and talking to each other and going through the red light and turning left away from the scene, um, hearing that they were going the next day and talking to households, basically threatening them, don't say anything if you saw anything. Just everything they did was criminal beyond criminal. ...of the SUV is one of the targets of the investigation. He's a police officer who's chasing the white Honda at a high speed on Farrington Highway in Makaha with his blue lights off. The officers in the blue and white HPD cars driving by seconds later, also with their lights off, are also under investigation. Let's camera video taken moments after the crash from a nearby 7-Eleven shows the officer in the SUV apparently talking to another officer before both take off in the opposite direction of the crash. It appears to back up witness accounts that the officers left the crash without rendering aid. All six people in the car were seriously or critically injured. One teen was paralyzed, but has been able to regain motion through physical therapy. Another lost an eye. In a statement, Prosecutor Steve Om said the charges demonstrate the importance of seeking justice when those believed to have committed crimes are the very people we expect to uphold the law. And just into our newsroom, HPD's response to the charges as well. Acting Chief Keith Horikawa says the charges filed are serious. Three of the officers have had their police powers removed. The fourth will be on restricted duty. An internal investigation remains open. I'm Lynn Kawano, Hawaii News Now. Thank you.